And then I said, for some reason, it thinks biryani is a tiffin. But uh, the last time uh, I checked, it was not. But, you know, I love biryani too. So I kind of gave it the prompt. I don't think so. And then it apologized to me uh, very politely and said, as, as a Hyderabadi, you can't insult me by saying, you know, biryani is a tiffin. <laughs> that I think we can use as frontline workers, as knowledge workers, as any professional doing any design task, any creation task, to truly have this be a co-pilot that helps us do whatever task we are setting out to do more, pro more creatively, more productively, bring out more ingenuity, break down some of the barriers, the learning curves for everyone. What students do is, this is a work. Hai. Now I want students to write a review or write an article. What students do is, they they copy this. Go in softwares, yes. then numerous softwares. And yeah. here paraphrase the option. Hai. Okay. Aap upload document. Bhi karte hai, students, what they do is, they upload 10-15 pages document in one go. Within 5-10 minutes, the software would reconvert it, rephrase it. सब कुछ चेंज करके आपको एक फ्रेश पीस ऑफ आर्टिकल दे देगा और इट इज इजी फॉर स्टूडेंट ताकि वो उससे प्लेजरिज्म चीज से बच जाता है इसके ना प्रोज एंड कॉन्स दोनों हैं मतलब एक तरह से बच्चों को एक्सेस मिल रही है कि वो ऐसे बहुत सारे लोगों से इंफॉर्मेशन गैदर कर सके है ना जो वो पहले नहीं कर पाते थे उन्हें पहले ढूंढना पड़ता था कोई पर्सन उन्हें अच्छा मिल जाए तो आज के टाइम पर ऐसा है कि वो हेल्प ले पा रहे हैं उसे लेकिन एक तरह से हम कह सकते हैं इसका नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट ये है कि वो दूसरों के आइडिया से अपने आइडियाज खुद के बनाना उनके लिए बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है जो वो कॉपी करते हैं तो उससे उनके आइडियाज तो रिवील नहीं होते जिससे लॉकडाउन से मोस्टली ऑनलाइन ही चल रहा था सारा सिस्टम बाइजूस वेदांतों वगैरह तो सभी ने ट्यूशंस कोचिंग वगैरह वहीं से लिए हैं तो मोस्टली आजकल ऑनलाइन यूज कर रहे हैं सब लोग While it is giving you your work done easily, it's also making students get into a habit that they're going to get uh, ready-made answers. It's going to get them into a rut of using this. This is really hindering that learning process for students because they're unable to actually visit various websites, try different things. And in the early stages of school, you actually do these projects, see all these different things. Because later on, when you actually have to write research projects, and if you're supposed to use this, you're, go you're not going to be able to do it because all you've done is typed a question, got one answer, and said, okay, this is it, and that's why it's the correct way to go. So that's why I think schools should ban it. In similar cases, like how they are explaining, so uh, when we go to the uh, when we go to the coaching, they explain in the same way. So I don't think that it will hamper my studies. How can you ban then these new age tools? You have to learn to adapt, and I think that's what as educationists and educational institutions, we also will need to walk ahead with it. He 
is still is an R&D state. So, to be frank, right, if you ask any PhD people, okay, how much you know, right? As a parent, we have to think. So, whenever you're giving a tab or phone or something else or any applications or login, so as a parent, we should look after them. Checking pressures, we have specialized tools, right? Such as what are these tools, sir? Uh, such as uh, we have a tool from Turnitin, we have from Urkund. Uh, Turnitin is more popular and more sophisticated in a manner. Uh, but teachers across the globe, I think, are using it extensively for uh, evaluating assignments in terms of pleasures. And uh, these tools are also intelligent, right? Uh, teachers have to catch up. Important that we train our teachers on these new technologies, uh, uh, the, the changes which are happening and the tools which are available to them and the, 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 how to make best use of those tools to evade these kind of you know, issues uh, which, which are arising now. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.